Hello, my name is Cameron. Um, I go to Cornell High School. I'm entering my senior year of high school. Um, it's my birthday, so that's why I couldn't make it, but I would still like to demonstrate my project. Um, this is this is my gesture control accelerometer. This robot basically reads the gestures of an accelerometer and uses Bluetooth to transmit the gesture code to the car. Um, so let me just show you some of the parts. This is the my accelerometer, my ADXL uh, 3405. Um, this basically reads your um, direction, the pace um, depended on gravity and um, your tilt, your acceleration, just what way you're pointing it really determines you know how your car is going to work. Um, this is the HCO5. This is the Bluetooth that allows um, this to communicate to this, even though they're not connected to each other. So I had to upload a serial code to the HCO5 to really get them connected, and I had to put it into AT mode um, to get them blinking. But my original Bluetooth modules did not work, so I had to get these ones and these ones were able to communicate to each other successfully and bind it to each other after finding the address and giving them to each other um let me show this this is my arduino uno and this is my arduino micro um arduino is my hardware and software that basically allowed everything to work um it is the programming behind everything and um, depending on the code that you upload, that is going to put that code um, into my accelerometer and my gesture control robot. So here is my micro connected to the AC motor, which this is just like the power bank that is connected to every um, every motor that I have. This is the um, H bridge sorry this is the H bridge that is the power bank that's connected to every motor um so that is that let me show you how it works let me turn it on so depending on how I move it it's going to go either forward or backwards So it's going to go either forward or backwards depending on my movements. Even though I have this thing, I have the um, breadboard that is connected to my, is kind of weighing it down. So that's why I can't really get it moving. But as you can see, it's going forward and backwards depending on my movements of the car. So... That is basically my project. I mean, there was a lot of struggles going into my project, whether that was the original Bluetooth module was not working, or I originally burned off my motors. It took me a long time to learn the Arduino um, and its systems. Um, and I'm very new to coding. So that was one of the main struggles, but I was able to put in some work and uh, learn a little from my instructors. Um, this is really my first time working on something like this. I love building, but I'm relatively new to the software side of engineering. So it took a while to um, understand systems and code, especially with the Arduino. Um, I chose this project because I love RC cars and drones. Um, but I also chose it because I knew personally it would be um, challenging um, and something that I wouldn't that I wouldn't just leave um, I wouldn't just leave sitting around. Um, but throughout this, I've learned how um, I've learned a little bit of code, whether that's from the serial, um, from the config BT, which is uh, my motors, I've learned a little about um, the coding, 
behind everything. And I've also learned soldering. Uh, soldering is using this soldering metal to connect, basically it burns that uh, soldering metal into a liquid form in which you connect two pieces of metal to it in which it solidifies and it's still able to conduct electricity um, through those two pieces of wire um, uh, throughout all the challenges I tried my hardest to finish the project whether that was going to office hours or spending a few extra hours working um, I joined Blue Stamp um, to challenge myself and learn more about things I previously didn't have the knowledge on so that is my project and uh, thank you for listening and have a good day